Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eddie04 and today we'll learn how to be good in solo queue Overwatch. Now I'm sharing 5 tips that will surely help you when solo queue in an Overwatch competitive. As a matter of fact, this will help you in dual queue too. Or you know what, competitive and team play in general. Now tip number 1 is get your mind right. Ready up. Prepare your gaming area with a comfortable seat and a clean desk. Clean areas help for creativity and open mind. Also, make sure you won't be distracted either by a pizza coming in or family members calling. That way, you and your allies won't have a bad gaming experience. Don't get into competitive thinking you lose. Then that is what is going to happen, really. This is not a be positive mojo jumbo. You actually have higher rate of achieving a goal if you set your mind to do it. Start off by warming up with some aiming training just to get ready for competitive and play at least one quick play match to just suit up for what is coming ahead. Now just before you go into competitive, make this your motto. Your team is never to blame. We are all human beings and we do make mistakes, but yeah, some people are just jerks, I know. But you won't achieve anything if you focus on blaming your teammates. Let's hope your friends are good in Overwatch. But if they're not, then you have to solo queue. Don't queue with them. It's almost like having a healthy diet lifestyle. You know, eating bad food is worse than actually eating. Anyways, step number two or tip number two. If you want to gather honey, don't kick over the beehive. By blaming your allies and fighting back with them, this will just decrease the team morale and reduce the chance of winning. Start off by being polite and request for changes instead of going like, Are you insane? Why are you playing Widowmaker? You could try something a little bit more understandable like, Can we get a healer? I think we need at least two healers for this match. Or you could either try, I can change your healer. Can someone replace me as a tank or a DPS? There's a book you can learn some of these basics written by Dale Carnegie. The book is How to Win Friends and Influence People. Now, I've learned that criticism is futile because it puts a person on the defensive and usually makes him strive to justify himself. And this is dangerous since criticism wounds a person's precious pride, hurts his sense of importance, and arouses resentment. This is the perfect formula for losing in competitive. Let your teammates know that you are all in the same team and want the same goal, which is winning the match. So don't be salty! Tip number three, speak up. In any cooperative game, communication is the key. It can be in any way, but as long as it informs your allies crucial in-game data, then by all means you should share. The best way to communicate is with a headset or microphone. It provides a quick solution letting your team know what's happening in the battle. That doesn't mean that you can't use in-game communication or team chat. They all work as long as you are clear and polite. I tend to find people saying which heroes the enemy is using, but if you just press tab after a few seconds into the match, you'll be able to see which composition you are to fight against. If I'm not mistaken, after 15 seconds, you can know what you're up against. So don't waste the short span of attention saying which hero the enemy is using. Now I can't stress enough, but make sure to check in which channel you are in, for all your communication efforts are useless if you are in the wrong channel. Like I said, communication is the key, and the most effective way is with a clear audio, so I strongly suggest using a working microphone. Good game sense is important, and yes, that is tip number 4. And by good game sense, I mean knowing the heroes, what they do and what they don't. Understanding what to do in the right moment and staying alive as much as possible. With good game sense, you will focus in team play, which is the hardest thing to achieve in any competitive game, and especially in solo queue Overwatch. If your team needs a healer, please play as a healer. If your team needs a tank, then play as one. Offer yourself to improve the team composition. Don't insta pick a hero. It is much better to wait a while and talk about the strategy to play and go from there and on choosing your hero. 
That is why it is so important to be good with more than one hero. Have a bigger usage pool and don't fall into auto picking. Practice, 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 and more practice. Yep, that is tip number five. The more you play and test other heroes, the more you get to set the right expectations and try new strategies. By playing more and practicing more, you understand the game and heroes better. Learn the role which each hero type and become less toxic. Now in the description below I added the link to the book I mentioned as well as few headsets at an affordable price. If you're interested you can go ahead and click on the links in the description. Hope these 5 quick tips help you in Overwatch competitive. For more tips and tutorials subscribe to the channel. If you like this video click on the like button. This is Eddie04. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Hey, I hope you liked the video. Remember to like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. See ya!